In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a ticket system inside your Discord server. If you aren't familiar with what a ticket system is, it's basically a way for your users to be able to create private channels for them to talk with you and or your admins privately. This can be for you to help out any of your users that are having issues in your server. I personally use it in my own server uh, for a way for people to report people that are sending them spam or scams in their DMs. There's tons of different use cases for it, so I'm going to show you exactly how to get everything set up. But before we do, a quick word from our channel sponsor WAP. WAP is a digital platform that allows you to monetize your Discord community. With WAP, you get to set up your own digital storefront and sell multiple different levels of access to your Discord server at a variety of different price points. Everything is fully automated through their Discord bot when it comes to subscription management and access in your server. And my favorite part, WAP only takes 3% of revenue, leaving you with a very impressive 97%. If you want to learn more about WAP, I have a full video guide down in the description, as well as a link to go ahead and get your storefront set up so you can start selling today. Thank you again to WAP for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into it. The bot that we're going to be setting up today is called Ticketbot. Um, the website is ticketsbot.net. I'll have this link down in the description below as well. All you have to do once you're on this page, click invite tickets to your server, pretty simple, and then just add it into your server. Now, once you add it into your server, it's going to take you to the document page. We're not going to need this, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to come back into our server. And now that the bot is in our server, what we're going to do is we're going to run a command with the bot called setup auto. We're going to run that command and it's going to set up some basic stuff that we're going to need. You'll notice a few things that it made. One, it made a new category called tickets. It also made a channel called transcript. And then it set up two roles called tickets admin and ticket support. So let's talk about what these are. The tickets category, we're going to go ahead and drag the transcript channel to the tickets category, actually. Um, that didn't register, so let's try it again. We're gonna keep the current permissions on it. We'll talk about exactly what transcripts is in a minute. Um, touching base on the ticket admin and ticket support. These are basically roles. I don't personally use these myself, but if you want people that aren't already mods or admins in your server to kind of be in charge of the tickets, so these would be like just ticket mods. The only thing they would have access to do is manage the tickets. Those are the roles that you can use for that. It auto creates them for you. Um, I, me personally, I usually just run my admins are the ones managing the tickets. So they have full control of the server already. So I don't really have a use case for those roles, but if you want to use them, they're there. There's one more thing we're going to do before we go and actually set up the bot. We're going to create a new channel called tickets and we'll see what we're going to use that for in just a minute. Once we actually jump on the dashboard for the bot, but make sure you go ahead and create that channel before we go there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go create what's called the reaction panel. Basically, it's going to be just like this that I have in my server. It's going to be the embed message alongside a button that's actually going to add the functionality to create a ticket. So the quickest way to do that, if you click on the bot in your server, it'll have the dashboard link right here in the in the profile of the bot. Just click on that. That'll take you straight to the dashboard. If you don't see your server on here at first, click refresh. Sometimes you have to do that. Once you click refresh, you should, you should see your server on here. So I've got mine pulled up now. We're going to go up to the reaction panels option up here at the top left. And this is where we're going to be setting things up. So let's start at the top, mention on open. What this feature is, is it's basically asking you, do you want the bot to ping someone a role whenever a ticket is created? In this case, I would do the admins role. That way, anytime a ticket is created, all my admins will be able to be, get notified that a new ticket was made. Next up, you have ticket category. This is asking what category, when someone creates a new ticket, what category do you want that new ticket channel that's created to go to? So whichever one you want for your server, go ahead and select that. I'm going to select this one here. And then we're not really gonna mess with anything else up here at the top. We're gonna jump down to the panel title. So this is going to be editing our panel message down here. So you can type anything you want here. I'm just going to do the first option, open a support ticket, and then you're gonna type in the actual body of the embedded message. So I typed in by clicking the button below, a support ticket will be open for you. So next up we have panel channel. That's going to be the Discord channel in your server that you want the, embed, the embedded panel message to be. This is why we went ahead and created that channel before we jumped in the dashboard, because otherwise you would have to refresh the dashboard and re-put every, everything that you already entered in to get that channel to pop up down here. Now on mine, you're going to see a tickets and then tickets new. I had added this spot. I had to re-record this video. So that's why I have to do a second channel. You won't see this. So if you created a tickets channel, go ahead and select that. Mine is the same thing, but with new on it. So I'm going to select tickets new. What color do you want the button to be? You can do blue, gray, green, or red. 
I'm gonna do green. And then what is the text that you want to be on the button? I will be doing open a ticket. And you can also customize the emoji on the button if you want. I'm just gonna stick with the default envelope that's already on there. After you do that, that's pretty much everything that you need to set up. So we're going to go ahead and click submit. And once you give it a second, it should say panel created successfully. And we're going to jump into our server and we'll see right here we have the panel created. And now if a user was to open a new ticket, they come down here, click the button. It's gonna automatically create a new ticket here in the server. You can privately chat about whatever your issue is. And then once you're done, you can close out the ticket. And once you do, it'll automatically, the channel will automatically be deleted. And this is where the transcripts channel comes into play. Once the ticket is deleted, the bot is going to send a copy of the ticket with the information on who opened it, who closed it. If anyone claimed it to take charge of it, it's gonna put that there. And then you get a full transcript of everything that was just every message that was sent in that ticket channel. It's really cool that they do this. So you can always go back and look at things if you need to reference. Definitely a cool feature if you wanna go back and reference any old tickets to see what was said in them. And one thing I would note really quick that I didn't mention earlier, this tickets channel that you created for the panel to go in, you're gonna wanna come into the permissions of it and make it to where at everyone cannot send messages. Because if you don't, then people are going to be, people are gonna in inevitably just send a bunch of messages in here. And once they do, eventually this panel will get lost way up in the top of the channel. So obviously we don't want that because then people would have to like scroll way up to be able to create a ticket or they would not even know that they can do that in this channel. So make sure you set it to where no one can message in this channel, but they can still view the channel. And that's pretty much the gist of the ticket bot. Pretty easy to set up, doesn't take a long time. And it's definitely a really, really useful feature. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, be sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of the future content that comes out. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Peace.